What you doing, honey? Cutting up turkey to, to grind. Yeah? So what'd you do yesterday? We butchered a couple of these turkeys. Today, we're going to uh, grind it up, or grind them up. We just did a couple of them. Mm. But uh, we're using, we've been using the, uh, the little handheld chicken plucker. Um, but that's not really working too well with these turkeys. We've used them for the chickens and it makes things a little easier with the chickens. But uh, don't work quite as well with the turkeys. So, but besides that, he's already got the station set up, meat grinding station. It's all been cleaned, ready to go. Cool. These are our blue slate turkeys. So I guess what I need to do then is we need a bag for the bones since we only get weekly trash pickup so we have to be careful. Oh, I was thinking about freezing the carcasses. Oh, for crying out loud. What? I just noticed Clyde is in. In the, in the food forest? In the little food forest. <laughs> What's he eating? I don't know. Hopefully some weeds and not actual. What's between the banana? It's all weeds right there with the bananas, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. He's good. He's not going to be much there. All right, so I need to get a couple of Ziploc bags out, one for the bones, and, some and then some for us grinding. So we got two birds, right? Yeah. Are we saving the wings or the legs, honey? No, I'm going to cut it all up. You're going to cut it all up. Okay, so... We'll get back to you guys in a little bit here if once we're getting ready to grind. All right, we got our turkey cut up. I got it cut up into strips. This strip's a little big. And then we did a quick test run just to make sure everything was working right. So we're gonna show you guys how we grind up our turkeys. Now, the turkey that we did two females, so that's why it doesn't show a lot of meat, and we saved the turkey legs for later. So this is just um, pretty much everything else out of the bird. And here we go. So we're going to go ahead and grind the rest of this and then we will show you how we bag them. Alright, now for the last step. Alright, I got a glove on, but I'm taking the quart size freezer bags, I've already marked them, and we already know everything we do in these bags, we do them as one pounders. So I got my little weight machine here and I am just going to take a handful, drop it in. So I hit about a pound. Right about there. And yeah, she's at a pound. Now I'm going to set it aside. Don't close it up yet because if you have a little bit of leftovers, you can add it and it'll be just a little bit more than a pound. So I just set it aside. Now, last time we did this, uh, we did we did two turkeys last time, didn't we? Yeah. And we got five pounds of meat off of it, but we kept the ling the wings and the legs to grill up for later. So I only have. And they were male turkeys. Yeah. They were a little bigger than these guys. 
so I'm thinking I'm gonna get five pounds again which is perfect because with as many birds as we have And we also have two bags of bones, too. Yes. That my bone... Broth. My, bo my freezer broth. <laughs> you can actually show them that. It's all down there. Um, it's actually, it's filled up the drawer, and I'm on that second to the bottom shelf. All of that is bones. Yeah, all these, the bottom drawer. And that is all bones for making bone broth which I'll be able to probably start doing tomorrow because tonight we're supposed to have a really good cold front come through and the high tomorrow is supposed to be 76 so I think I'm gonna be doing a um, I'll have to grab out the machines but we can probably start it tonight making bone broth it looks like you're gonna have just over five pounds aren't you um, yeah, this one's a little bit over. Like a couple pounds. You got left. Just oh. a little bit. So I'm gonna take just to add a little and bit. just add a little bit to each one. So they'll be just a little over a pound each, which is fine by us. I mean, with our family. Um, It'll most likely get used for tacos and tacos, spaghetti. And stuff spaghetti. Like that. Alrighty, and then uh, let me take my glove off. Side. And then the way I do this, guys, is you know, some people will just roll it up and put it in, but the best way is actually to smash it down. That's the best way we found. Yeah, flatten it out because then. They stack really well. You can stack them in the freezer in the corner and they do great. So that's what I'm going to do with these. And they ones. freeze faster and they thaw faster. Yes. I just make sure I get all the air out as much as I can. And then, see, stacking. Crack it like a second. But, so we know on an average right now, with two small turkeys, whether it's male or female, we're getting about five, I would say, what, five and a half pounds of Probably meat? Probably something like that. So, which is fine with us because turkey, ground turkey runs about three dollars and change a pound in our area. Yeah, like three, like three forty-six. I think it is. I, I could be wrong, but it, I know it, it runs about that much. And you don't know what you're getting with that. Yeah. This, we know this is all meat. I mean, it's, we're particular on what we feed our birds. So there we go. See how nice it stacks? And you could even do this with, if you buy meat in bulk and then you divide it up, you could actually do this um, with any type of ground beef or turkey or chicken or duck. Ooh, we should do some with ducks. We're gonna do that next butcher. Ooh. Hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button, remember that bell and subscribe. And if you wanna see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.